Hi there guys and welcome back to the page again. Today is quite an exciting day because as you can see I started assembling my bottom end again. The crank is in and as you can see as trial and tested I just fitted one of the pistons. But today I'm basically going to be showing you um, how to basically install the rings on the new pistons and well basically assemble the pistons and get it into the block. Um, another thing that also came, my head came back and as you can see it's looking quite nice fresh new steel valves uh, but as i open it up um, i'll show you the porting that was done in the head as well so to increase some flow into into the head um, as you know turbocharged engines like to breathe so the ports have been opened up a little bit but um, just to keep in mind guys um, i do have an issue with my microphone so if the sound does sound a bit crappy um, I'll get that sorted out, but my microphone is messing around with me a bit. And you can actually hear everything around you as well. I don't really like it, but what can I do? Right, so let's get into it, guys. Um, we're going to be assembling the pistons and the rods first. And once we assemble those two things, I'll show you basically how to put it in the block and basically do a rotation on the engine and make sure that there is compression uh, basically happening in the chambers. I tested number one already, uh, we're putting my hand on the cylinder while turning uh, the crankshaft and it does give some suction so it basically um, gives up, that's, that's basically a positive to show that there is compression happening in the cylinders though. But um, enough of the talking, uh, let's get into it guys.
guys, now that we've got everything, all the pistons um, in, the, in the block right now, what I'm just going to do is I'm going to remove all the, the studs, the APR studs, uh, clean them up so that I can actually put on this um, blue provided with the ARP studs, which they recommend you do. So I'll just be uh, removing the bolts uh, one by one, cleaning them up, and then being applying this ARP um, assembly lubricant so that we can um, start talking these bolts. If you're wondering why this bolt is missing here, it's because um, I'm not going to be using this bolt. I just use these bolts to um, to tighten down or just to hold the crank in place in the meanwhile. Um, I should be receiving my bolts from VW by tomorrow or the day after. And then I can basically start talking up uh, the mains. And yeah, I won't be talking up this right now. I'll just be tying it up so that the cups can seat into the corner rods. So um, once the... Once the the main bolts come, I'll talk everything and um, I'll basically go through the talking specs um, which is needed for this, this and this and the talking sequence um, of the mains and the cups of the corner rods. So uh, let's just tie this up, clean this up and um, apply this assembly loop to the ARP studs um, on the, on the corner rod. motor assembled right now. If we have a look when I give it a turn. There's no obstructions, everything is moving freely. Uh, as for the crank, just basically need to get those um, get those balls torqued up as soon as possible and then we can move further. So guys, thank you for watching and um, thank you for following those who are following the page. I hope this is basically very informative for you guys and um, if you do have some advice for me, uh, please don't, don't hesitate to, to post a link or post a comment in the section. Um, yeah guys, um, exciting times ahead. Can't wait for this build to be finished so I can see the power that it puts out. Um, I will be having the car tuned. Um, I haven't decided on what shop yet but um, as soon as I get to the shop I will let you guys know who will be tuning the car and um, we should be able to see what power the car does put out so yeah guys uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, enjoy guys <laughs>